Thank you, Madam Chairman. For this proposal, at second reading, we have tabled a complete rejection of the whole idea. This is for two reasons. The first is because we, the elected members of this Parliament, have the duty to be held accountable to our electorate who democratically elected us here to represent them. I firmly believe that we owe it to our constituents to see how this representatives have voted. Sadly, due to the democratic process in the EU, this can only be achieved by tabling complete rejection to the proposal. The second reason for rejecting the proposal is because we are opposed to this overreaction to the customs fraud and centralisation of powers and delegation to the Commission that this report brings. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm absolutely in support of combating customs-related fraud, but I'm wholly against this proposal, which serves only to plaster over the cracks and not address the origins of the customs-related fraud. To deal with customs fraud related issues is not to add bureaucracy and burdens for member states, but to question the fundamental pillars of the single market, the free movement of goods, persons, services and capital between member states. By establishing and maintaining a database that will contain detailed information on imports, exports and transit of goods, including those within a member state. The EU is raising great data protection concerns for businesses, let alone the additional costs that come as a result to starting up a project like this. We are, as sovereign nations should be of course, be encouraging greater mutual assistance and cooperation in the second fight against fraud. But I state once again, um, that this does not require a centralised EU database to be established. The whole approach to combating customs-related fraud feels awfully familiar to the idea of using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. Once again, this is just another example of the EU using an economic problem as an excuse to increase harmonisation, and this is not something that I can support. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Thank you.